Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Jack Silkstone. So, after months and months of speculation going on over the winter period, we are now at a point where we now know all of the new things that will be coming to the Fort Park Resort in the 2019 season. So after a few days of teasing a few new logos and stuff, Fort Park then went ahead and posted this photo to all of their social media platforms, accompanied by the caption, Welcome to 2019, a season of experiences like no other. So yeah, in today's video, we're gonna take a look at all of these things individually and just have a little chat about them. So to start off with, we have Jungle Escape. Now the description for this is Decode the clues, test your physical limits and endure the hunt in this trial of skill, wit and prowess. Experience our new live adventure, Jungle Escape. Prepare for the challenge opening from May. And I will get onto that little asterisk there in just a minute, don't you worry about that. Next up we have Game FX. Grab your mates, pick up a controller and join us for our first ever gaming extravaganza. It's Game FX at Fort Park Resort, powered by HYPD. Test your skills on select dates from 6th of April to the 31st of May. Next up we have Bouncezilla. It's big, it's bold and it's bouncy. Bouncezilla is a 96 meter inflatable course that fights back. Are you ready to take on this hilarious challenge? Bouncing into Fort Park Resort from the 25th of May to the 8th of September. And finally, we have Fright Nights. Prepare to be scared senseless at Fright Nights 2019, featuring terrifying live action mazes and experiences. Plus, take on our top rides in the dead of the night. Screams return on select date from the 28th of September through to the 3rd of November. Now, just before we talk about these things in detail, as I said, there were a few little asterisks in there, so. The Jungle Escape Room will be opening in May, and as that little asterisk states, restrictions apply, additional purchase ticket will be required. Now this basically means that this escape room will be an upcharge attraction, just like containment is during Fright Nights, um, so you can't just do it with a standard full park ticket. And the asterisks is on the other three events are just stating that restrictions apply, so there will be like age limits and stuff like that, so nothing major, they are all free events. So yeah, these are the things that will be coming to the Fort Park Resort in 2019. Now, there has been a lot of different opinions on this. Um, certain people have been getting really quite annoyed. I don't want crappy little events and then when people get angry at Thought Park for them to reply with a bunch of unprofessional gifts! Yikes. <laughs> um, no, I fully understand that some people aren't particularly happy with this and I'm not here to try and persuade you guys that this is a good offering for the resort this year. This, this isn't that kind of video at all. I'm just here to tell you guys the news. I'm gonna be giving my opinion. I obviously want to hear your guys' opinion down below, whether it be good or bad. I wanna hear it, um, but no, just to be clear, I'm not bashing anyone that's disappointed in this um, offering for this year, but yeah, I'm gonna give my opinion. So first and foremost, I just wanna bring up the point that I think it's going to be a cool year in the fact that it seems like everything's a bit more happier this year in contrast to last year's Year of the Walking Dead where everything was very dark and horror themed and scary kind of marketing wise whereas this year it seems like we are going for a more brighter, more positive kind of marketing of the park. Now a reason a lot of people aren't too happy with this um, offering for this year is the fact that they're saying why would you go to a theme park to go and then play on a gaming console which I completely get, that's fair enough but this event, Game Effects, as well as Bouncilla, are free events, you do not have to pay to go in. So we've once again in the same situation as we were for Love Island late last year. As I said back then, it's a free event. If you don't want to go and do it, then you don't have to. Um, but for those of you that do want to go and experience it, then you absolutely can. I completely get that if you are going to a theme park, you know, you've paid all that money to get in, you want to be going on rides, you don't really want to be sat down playing on games and stuff, but there are retro games and stuff in there by the sound of it, like it's not just going to be sit down, play Fortnite for an hour or two, like it, it, it seems like you are going to be able to do like stuff that is worth doing, so I'm definitely going to be checking it out as well as Bouncilla, I'm really excited for that one, 96 meters, it sounds pretty cool. And yeah, obviously with Jungle Escape it is a paid extra attraction. But at the end of the day, containment was during Fright Nights, escape rooms are 
difficult things to manage because it takes a while to go through them and if it was free I imagine it would have a massive massive queue so I understand why they have put this price cap on it I'm definitely gonna check out at least once like it's a big building there's a lot of potential in there so I'm excited to see what they do with it but regardless of everything else on this poster the one thing that is making me very very excited for this year is the fact that they already seem to be planning out Fright Nights because now I've never really spoken about this to be honest Fright Nights 2018 it seemed a little bit rushed in places let's be honest um, the whole thing with Vulcan Peak changing it halfway through just a lot of stuff going on in the background seemed to be very rushed but this year it seems like they're really really pushing for Fright Nights the fact that it's being shown this early on is to me a very good sign it seems like they're already planning out the event and making sure that it's going to be one of the best so yeah very very excited for Fright Nights this year and I think this is the thing that I'm most excited for in regards to this announcement so yeah that is basically my opinion on this announcement as I said I really didn't want this video to be me like four part propaganda kind of thing like persuading you guys that it's going to be a great year because I know it's, it's not what everyone wanted and I completely understand that but yeah be sure to let me know your thoughts down below and yeah throughout the year I will be covering all of these different events on the channel so even if you're not too sure on them and you're not too sure if they are going to be worth heading to the park for you can always check out the videos that I will be posting on this channel um, so you can make your mind up and that kind of thing so yeah be sure to subscribe to be notified when I upload those videos and yeah Fort Park now opens in less than a month it's very exciting now so I will be heading down there on annual pass day so be sure to come and say hello if you see me about and yeah be sure to keep an eye out for the vlog that I upload from that day and yeah otherwise thank you very much for watching this video guys I really appreciate it my name is Jack Silverstone goodbye